Aquarius, welcome to your June 2018 tarot reading. Raina here, and um, yeah, so just shuffling the cards here. Doing a different spread this time. So we always pick a card as the, I think they call it significator. And I'm always like, you know, is that how you pronounce it? Because I'm self-taught and so I read it in books. You know, when you read things in books, you're not always sure if you're pronouncing it correctly. But it's a card that's kind of like the focus or the theme. And uh, I guess I should start with that one. What the heck, right? For... The month of June, so we have the Six of Swords. Actually, I, I did get several other swords. You are swords, Aquarius. All the air signs are. The other air signs are Gemini and Libra, so you all share this gift of gab or communication skills. And yet the swords in the Tarot can be about some sort of um, conflict some sort of drama and the six of swords is about choosing to leave that conflict in in search of um peace you know in favor of peace rather than dealing with that conflict and so this can obviously be in any area of life so I'm going to begin the reading now and we'll see what's going on. One thing to remind you, or a couple things to remind you, is that this is a general reading. If you'd like a private reading, most of my readings I'm using your astrological chart. So it's different than this because it's based on your time of birth. And the link from my website is below this video. The other thing that I want to remind you, or tell, well, let me tell you, because this is different than my normal spreads. And so the top row is going to be past influences coming into the month of June. And I'm recording this with, um, you know, approaching the middle of May. So some of the top row could be future cards. So keep that in mind while you're watching this reading. So I'm going to just take all three of these cards so I can easily talk about them. These are uh, past influences affecting current situation. One of them is the King of Swords. Uh, this can be a boss, a father, a father figure, a, an older air sign male who is, a, you know, maybe even like a judge who has to make decisions impartially, who is affecting your life. Now, obviously... Um, that could be a legal situation, but it can also be like some kind of um, workplace, like an ar arbitration, where you have to go to someone, but it could be your boss. This person generally in the upright position is going to be fair, although they could be rather um, out of touch with their feelings. There could be a disconnect there, so that could affect you adversely. If, let's say, this is your spouse, you may feel, Aquarius, that this person is too logical. Now, uh, sometimes I get um, people lecturing me that I say, you know, Aquarians or other air signs are in their heads, are, you know, kind of abstract and not connected to their emotions. So even if you're a female, that could definitely be you too. But I get some people say, no, 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 I'm very emotional and blah, blah, blah. And I suppose, you know, it depends on the individual chart, how you're going to be. You might have a lot of Pisces 
if you have a lot of Pisces, which is a sign next to you, or, you know, for the inner planets, the moon can be any sign. You might have a water moon. You might have the rising sign. But, you know, the thing is that these are archetypes, so they are definite, like, templates for each personality type, each of the signs. So that's what I'm going on. I'm not talking about the nuances between each individual. Obviously, we're not just these stereotypical set of traits. We have a little bit more individuality than that, but, you know, I have to generalize in order to do a general reading, so that's where I'm going with that. But, um, you see, the other two cards I have here is the Eight of Swords. So you may feel a sense of oppression, possibly by this individual for some reason. And it, and I mean, when I say oppression, this may be coming from yourself. Here's, you know, it's another swords. The top row is all swords. And so really with the eight of swords is you're doing it to yourself, Aquarius. It, your thoughts are creating your reality. If you feel trapped, it's because of the thoughts that you're thinking. What are some of the thoughts that make people feel trapped? Well, if this is a workplace situation and you're unhappy, I have to work here. There's no other place. Um, I'm over 50. I can't quit. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's logical to not want to make snap decisions, especially if you feel like you don't have anything to fall back on. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that sometimes people have so many thoughts in their head that are negative that they feel that sense of, I can't do this. I, my hands are tied. I, you know, And if this is a love situation, same deal. And the same thing that I would say about a work situation. It's not that easy to just snap your fingers and be able to, to leave or to do something about it. But the eight of swords, I mean, the person is blindfolded also. So the person isn't seeing things as they really are in addition to feeling trapped. And this may be kind of like self-deception where you are not really looking at a situation logically. Um, you're kind of being illogical, <laughs> which is really going against what the swords stand for, but maybe you're thinking too much about something. Also, we get the Four of Swords, which is about rest and relaxation. So that may be something at some point in May that you decide to do, like take a break from the situation. Uh, for a work matter, it may be like a mental health day or actually a leave of absence, because if you, especially if you feel like you're starting to have anxiety attacks or some kind of, um, I don't know, just intense emotional reaction to a situation. You may do that at work or um, in, a, in a relationship, you may separate from the person. You may, um, if you aren't actually living in a separate residence, you may emotionally separate. You may become much more <clears throat> detached and you may go through the motions, but you are keeping to yourself. I mean, this is a card of actual, sometimes physical rejuvenation that you need in order to function. Remember what the um, focus card is. It's about leaving. So that is kind of the theme and it's something that you may have been thinking about for a while now. So the middle role is the current situation in June, the world card. Definitely a card of closure, of finishing a chapter in your life. Uh, sometimes this can be graduation day. It can be a feeling of um, wanting to... what shall we say, like um, wanting to tie up 
the loose ends before you move on. The rule card can be about traveling, especially long distances, and getting out of your little, your tiny little world. And, um, and then we have alongside that card, the Knight of Swords. So this is a card that is connected to lawyers. You may decide, I'm getting a divorce. I'm um, going to take this person to court. Enough is enough. This person isn't um, honoring my wishes and I deserve better than this. And, and then we have here the, the hangman, which is a card about someone who is um, letting go of the need to control a situation. It's kind of like, um, what's that, that term? Um, surrender. So maybe you are um, deciding that, you know, maybe you decide what you're going to do and you feel like now that it's a waiting game. And I'm keeping it pretty open because this is a general reading, but um, you know, it, it, this, this particular reading Aquarius seems fairly clear cut to me based upon some of these cards of what you may be going through. The outcome, or sometimes this can be the advice card, the Ace of Wands is starting something new that really br brings you a sense of enthusiasm. So whether that's a new relationship or a new job. Now, this is a perfect example of how timing in these monthly readings, or even I, I just finished a set of weekly readings for the for um, May, and how you have to be very um, open-ended about it because I'm not claiming that you know all of these things are going to happen within a 30-day time span. It's really about cause and effect. So if somebody feels a sense of oppression and they decide to end a situation that no longer serves them, it stands to reason that they're going to feel a sense of freedom and that freedom, uh, the Ace of Wands may not be even that you're starting a particular project or you're in a new relationship. It could just be like a sense of having a new life. And with Wands, we're talking about that about life, about feeling alive, passion, not just survival, but passion. We also get the King of Pentacles, and um, this could indicate the type of person that you find yourself, you know, associating with. This can be, and this is Earth energy. Of course, we would have to look at the the whole picture, but this person may have a very earthy persona, down to earth, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they have a lot of that in them. This can be even the kind of job that you are going after, that um, maybe you were doing something that used your mind, like analytical type of a job, and now you're just doing a job where you are, maybe you're starting your own business, and um, doing something that is more entrepreneurial. The King of Pentacles, to me, is like a, a store owner or a bank manager, not necessarily entrepreneur. I can never say that word. Entrepreneurship, where you are creating a product and selling it or a service. But with the Ace of Wands, I feel like it could be something creative. But something that you feel... In control of. And then we have, in addition to that, the Queen of Cups. Now it's interesting that I have here the King and the Queen. So father and mother, um, this could be that you are staying with your parents, maybe temporarily, or um, looking after them, or just visiting. It could mean that this is a facet of you, which is a very psychic energy and receptive to things. Perhaps um, 
you feel it's like getting your feelings back maybe for a while uh, with the eight of swords you felt this um, you know you felt emotionally shut down and now you're you know gaining your zest for living again and you feel much more um, alive but it could you know I know this is crazy but for some people this could be a pregnancy where you are very fertile the queen of cups is a double feminine energy and then you have the king there so there could be some kind of a, a situation maybe you I know and here's another crazy scenario you got pregnant by your boss um it's uh, I I <laughs> I don't know but there's the there's the father and mother energy with the outcome so whether that is that um, you were with somebody that you did not want to have a child with and uh, it's like oopsie daisy or maybe you've met somebody that you feel would make um, a more suitable father can't really say but it could just be like um, different facets of your personality that you're an entrepreneur maybe you became a psychic or will become a psychic. Aquarius is a very psychic sign. The Queen of Cups can be anybody who uses uh, uh, divining tools like astrology, the tarot, at, along with your natural psychic ability. So maybe you're the next Miss Cleo. I have no idea. Aquarius. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I wish you all the best in the month of June. Take care. Bye.